All right, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another made for TV movie reaction. Now I couldn't find a date on this one. Uh, it looks like it's probably the late 70s, maybe early 80s. Uh, but I'll find a date for it and put that in the title. So this is called, I Heard the Owl Call My Name. Uh, so I have never heard of this, so likely I've never seen it. And uh, all that. So it's an hour and 15 minutes long, which is a typical time for made for TV movies. So let's get started with this. It's a little chilly this morning, but I've got my cup of coffee and everything, and I'm ready to go. So let's put our hearing devices on. And we'll get ready and watch. I heard the owl call my name and see what this is all about. All right. Yep, it's Christmas mu music. No idea what this is going to be about. about being retired. I heard the owl calling. I just kind of get to do whatever I want to do when I want to do it. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Tom Courtney. I don't recognize that name. Dean Jagger. I know I've heard that name before, but I can't place him. Pretty large congregation. I'm not a Catholic, but I'm Christian. The village is going to have a priest again. We just heard they're sending a priest. The Catholics to be my Christian brothers and sisters. Merry Christmas, Mark. Merry Christmas, my lord. The cathedral looks beautiful at Christmas time. And you're sorry to be leaving it? No, my lord, but... Uh, well, I know you're, uh, you're disappointed in your assignment. No, my lord. But I, I, I'd like to ask you, why there? Is it because I've been ill? I'm all right now, and... Well, I want to serve the church actively. And you think serving at Cutcoo Village will be restful? 
Is that what you think? A holiday? It's quite the opposite. You will work harder than you have ever worked. Then why that? Because you are so well schooled. You're so well trained. And so well read. And because <laughs> you know nothing. And the Indians will teach you as they taught me. Now, three days out of Vancouver, up the coast, you'll be in the world of yeah, Indians there's... and loggers and wilderness. I'll try to make it my world, too. So it sounds like they're going north. Oh, right? your, uh, <clears throat> your Indian deckhand. He, he's the been Canadian working our world for a year now. Come on, my side as a country. Learn from him, Mark. He knows more about that boat in the coast than we'll ever know. I've been very close to the Canadian border, and you find him watching. Our trip him. way back when. <laughs> you find them all watching him. But they never got and in their own time, the they will accept you or reject you. Jim. So this young I'd man like you to meet is. Mark Bryan, your new vicar, Jim Wallace. Glad to meet you. Uh, Jim, will you be sure to say hello to George P. and Martha for me? Tell them I miss them. Think of them. I will. Going to... Already? Already. Stay with... Uh... Uh, what? So Native Americans or Native Canadians, I guess, is another word for it. Not uh, sure. God bless you, Mark. Which is certainly a very admirable thing. He seems troubled, Mark does. Canadian flag, I do believe. Shall I take it a while? Looks like a really nice place to, to live. It'll get pretty darn cold there. If you don't mind my asking, how did you get the name Jim Wallace? How do white men get their names? From their fathers, grandfathers. Me too. I get my name from the same people. Your fathers and grandfathers. I came here a hundred years ago and it said, all the Indians got to be registered. What's your name? Some of the Indians are. Yamak Bas, The white guy said, what? I can't pronounce that. From now on, your name is Wallace. Next. Mm. That's how I got my name. <laughs> oh, I thought that was uh, the new vicar over there introducing himself around the first. He I kind of wonder if he's going to fit in there and be accepted. Or... Always 
56 to 57 Chevy truck. It looks so nice, it looks pretty beat up. Yeah. There's a church. My first church, Jim. Come see your first vicarage. Mourner. The figurage is being used. Used? We don't have to. Okay, it looks like a child. Who is he? My cousin. Three days ago, he fell off the wharf between boats. Nobody saw him. Why isn't he buried? We have to wait for the RCMP to give a burial permit. Will you take me to his mother, please? This is his mother. Does she speak English? Yes. I'm sorry. I'll get to Sokolo. What'd she say? The hard artist. She says she heard the owl call his name. Huh? It means she knew her son was going to die. I'm sorry. Shall we say a prayer together? Oh Lord Jesus Christ, who didst take little children into thine arms and bless them. Open thou our eyes. We beseech thee. Did he say something wrong? Funeral procession. Procession. The funeral. I can't seem to say that word. Procession. Her. The funeral. Apparently. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace, both now and evermore. Amen. Well, certainly interesting so far. So he must live right there in the church. from a small town. 
not the town I live in now, but <clears throat> small town now. A little ways away, and it was a small enough town that the churches would ring. Good morning. Bells like that. On uh, in morning. case we haven't met, uh, I'm Mark Bryan. Uh, now, before we begin, uh, I have to say that I don't sing very well without an accompaniment. So, is there anyone who can play the organ? It does work. be somebody there that can play the organ. Definitely not me. He can play the acoustic guitar a little bit. Very, very well. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for thee, and feed on him in thy heart by faith with thanksgiving. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for thee, and feed on him in thy heart by faith with thanksgiving. I've been at Kutkuis a week now. I came at a time of sorrow, for a child had been taken from you, and the village was in mourning. We know that the little boy we buried is with Christ. Now mourning has been put aside and you started your work again. What concern me, therefore, are the living children of Kutkuis. I've seen them this week so willing and eager Co for life, that, what he said. that I must ask you if what is here in this village so is I don't enough. Look up any information. Enough to find for out them in the years ahead. Think about it before I watch these. You are great fishermen. Your people have put out to sea for countless generations, and I would ask you this morning to help me to build a boat, a different kind of boat, one that will carry your children on the difficult journey from this village to the white man's world. I know that we can build such a boat. We can build it together with education, faith in God and his help, faith in ourselves. So one of my favorite Bible characters is Noah. I know the book of Noah, or the chapter 10, is it's right around there. That's the story of Noah starts, or Abraham, I'm sorry. Abraham starts uh, around then. Abram, his name was later changed to Abraham. But anyway. Noah is just a character that I think about quite a lot. Faith and to build the ark was just tremendous. God commanded him to do it, and he did it. He spent a hundred years building the ark. And boy, I wish I could have that kind of thing. Hello, I'm Mark Bryan. I certainly try. Ah, yes, the vicar. I'm Alan Spencer. Yes, they said you were coming today. Well, old Sam's at you already, is he? When he's drunk, he beats his wife and daughter. When he's sober, he begs for money to buy liquor. You're a great man, Sam. Oh. May your tribe increase. This is my last term here, if I can stand it. The isolation pay almost makes it worthwhile. Almost. Do you teach all seven grades here? Yes. Then where do they go? They go nowhere. The boys fish, the girls marry the boys, and so on and on. Well, I, for one, would be nowhere at all. 
example, if it hadn't been for a teacher of seven grades who took an interest? This is nowhere at all. Look, I teach seven grades. You dispense your sacraments. I'm not here only to perform the sacraments. What are you here for? Look at that house of yours. It's falling down. The village flows right around it. They don't care if it falls down. They don't need it. It's irrelevant. So are you, Vicar. And so am I. Well, that was a good shot. Yes, you are ridiculous, you know. Irrelevant and ridiculous. You're a joke. You and me both. I'm Mark Bryan. I, I always break windows like that. It's good exercise. Well, that's sad. Come on. Tell me a name. <laughs> good exercise. Oh, hello. These are my new friends. <coughs> They're John and Lisa, my cousins. I'm Keita. Uh, I'm Mark Bryan. Uh, Jim Wallace told me about you. Keita's a princess, he said, from a proud family who took no English name. Is that true? Yeah. He also said he was going to marry you. Jim has no manners. I'm to marry Gordon. Who's Gordon? Gordon Hudson. He's going to a school. The first? Don't the others go to school? Everything they need is here. The world's changing, Keita. Not in the village. Not so much. Keita, once there were totem poles here, and and no and planes flying overhead, and nothing to do but fish. Now all the totem poles have gone. The world's crowding in, Keita. Now the children could learn to be, well, to be more than fishermen. Some are loggers. <laughs> There's a logging camp near here. But they don't like Indians so much do so many other things. Now, if the children went to school... My people like being fishermen. And they don't like the world crowding in. But is the world such an awful place? It gives you a thousand things you can choose to be. You can go buzzing from one part of it to the other. I would not like living in a place where... You talk like Gordon talks. Oh, you had to when he makes me afraid. Fish. Sometimes I'm afraid <laughs> he won't come back here. His grandfather, George P., is afraid too. The village is his place. Chakwa, Kita. Come, Lisa. With more learning, there'd be less fear, Kita. Again, I'll take her out of this house. I'll find another home for her, right? If he hits her again, you let me know, okay? Hey, come on in now. Don't be a fool. This is my house. This is my parish. Well, what do you do that for anyway? This is my house. You're supposed to respect the dog, you Thank you. 
My dear Bishop, I'm just beginning to separate the people of Kutkuis and see individuals. Notice that there's a whole life going on in each house, in each face. Hi, David. Whoa, whoa. Oh, you just made that? Yeah, I just made that. That's a great salad. Yeah. Very good. You'll be rich. All right. <laughs> On special days, the men of Kutkuis fish for the whole village. Each family gets its share. These people have brought me back to that feeling of family, something I've not had since I was a boy. Good fishing today. Good luck. Come, swimmer. I'm glad to be alive now that we have come to this good place where we can play together. Take this sweet food. How do you know that prayer? I read it in a book. Your people call the halibut old woman, flabby mouth. But they respect the salmon, the swimmer. But the swimmer always dies. When they're born and tiny, the current takes them downstream. They fight it. They go backwards trying to swim. Then they turn and face their dangers. And the current takes them to the sea. Nobody knows where they go. Yeah, of course, here we have the salmon. How far they go. They swim One upstream. day, their bodies tell them to go right back. Right here, I mean. They go back to where they were born. They have a pretty good river running through the town. They spawn. It's in the outskirts of town. See? It's ideal salmon fishing. They're dying now. Still trying to swim. But they'll die. And the current will take their bodies but out to the you know, sea. Some, Tail first. I'm not a like fisherman before. or anything. And they it's say sad. it's... Not sad. It's a life of adventure. Better Peter. to go about a hundred miles. When the swimmer out dies, he spent himself completely to the, the, the end he was meant for. It's a triumph. I don't know exactly how they work. You belong to the salmon people. You're a swimmer. Chuck. Chuck. Ah, that's What's nice. that? That's nice. That's nice. Water. 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 Muxie. 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 Yes. That's storm of rocks. Ha, Koshini. What does it mean? The raven. Legend says that the raven stole the sun from a chief who kept it in a bar. And he put it in the sky for us. And the owl? Yeah, he calls your name when you're going to die. Yes, yes. Oh, when a child died the owl calls your in name. the olden days, the mother would pick the body when you're going to die. Time I think that's how he said and that. And say, don't look back. I have never heard of that. Don't turn your head. Walk straight on. You are going to the land of the owl. Most of our legends has death in them. It's something we know about. No, I don't believe I have ever seen an owl alive. I mean, for real, like, you know, just walking or hiking, and, and there's suddenly an owl in the tree. I've never seen such a thing. Hello, Martha. 
Last yeah. summer, the last a huge possum out in my backyard here. Looking on the fence. In the early morning hours. Is it ready? Mm. Oh, Did well, I say possum? I have to say raccoon. Raccoon. I see a lot of possums around too. You look pretty bad. She looks like she's seen quite a few years. I know a handyman about the house either. You come out tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow I take the boat to the other villages and the logging camps. Here for you. To keep your head warm when you're out in the port. Oh, thank you. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> How do I look? Exactly like an egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think for the most part, everybody there is pretty friendly. Consumes alcohol and changes into the water and the fire from the river inside which flows. We have seen the double cure when she found its guilt and power. The leaders of my men can fulfill my wants and ends. Could my zeal no rest? I had mentioned in a previous video that I have a pair of Bluetooth earbuds and I finally did find them. The last place I didn't see many Indian be, but can. I found them charged in my gun. Can depend on a figure. But I haven't used them yet because I got very long, pretty yeah? used to mm. these. What's your turn over with these, man? Okay. How many of them stay? For the time being. One month. Well. How many of them take a look at this and don't even stay one day? We've got some good strong boys at Kutkuis. You think about it. This is a really good movie so far. I'm so glad I took a chance on it. Ever since the birth, she's been bleeding and bleeding. Couldn't get her out in our boat because of the storm. Uh -oh. Don't seem to get a whole lot of sun there. That was drives me crazy during the winter when I don't see the sun for Oh. Oh. See how 
the last calder. The owl has called. The almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins. True we don't even know if they have a doctor. The amendment of life and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. a white man like the vicar or like Gordon. Gordon will always be Indian. You don't know what he does in Fort Alberni. What does he do? He reads a lot. Reads a lot? He hasn't got time. All the white girls are chasing him. <laughs> <laughs> the homes? That's true. White girls love to chase Indian boys. <laughs> I don't blame them. sacraments, is it? Uh -oh. Now look, I've told you to stay right away from my place. I like a bit of peace and quiet after school. The school teacher isn't very nice. Doesn't anything sink in, Charlie? David, your head gets harder every day. You're all turning into totem poles. You don't listen. What are you good for? Totem so, poles. Wait a minute. I don't care what you think about this place, but your attitude is hurting these kids. You want to make them feel small, don't you? You like them to be afraid. They're not clowns, you know. They're not your yeah. clowns. And I won't have you belittling them. Not in my parish. He is a jerk, isn't he? I think he said he wasn't going to be there much longer. You see, in the old days, they used to put a person's best possession on the grave. Oh, Eight the ago, possession. I wondered why. It went down and two men died. Stuff was out there like we that. We never found the bodies. Just this cabin. So it's their grave. One of the men was Gordon's father. The other was mine. They died together. But Gordon and I will live together so that something of them will still be alive in the village. Okay. My lord, thank you for sending me to Kutkuis. In 10 months, the Indians have given me a lifetime of learning. I wonder what I give them in return. Oh, he's leaving. He's been there for 10 months, and now he's gonna go. More of them come to my just church, gonna... ask my help, share with me. But there is still much that is out of my reach. to another place. I want to be able to touch each life. <coughs> Can't be over it. Because they touched mine.
Well, the important thing is, is that he's made somewhat of a difference. Winter's come again, and I'm afraid it's slowed me down. Ways. I'm a bit weak, tired. The doctor in Tofino says he needs more tests, so I'll see him again soon. Meanwhile, I pray for wisdom. Young Gordon Hudson has come home, and the village is different because of it. They love him, but I think they resent how he's changed. And as they feared, he's decided to leave the village for good. And Keita is going with him. Keita. You'll be as lonely and afraid in the city as I was when I first came here. But it passes. It passes. Here you are, David. I'd like you to have these. I've had some of them for years. I don't suppose you'll want to read them all now, but I hope you will one day. There's a couple of Dickens, a copy of Vanity Fair, St. Augustine, Spinoza. Thank you. When will you be off? Right after the Christmas holidays. Well, David, I think you've made a very good choice. And uh, I hope things work out very well for you. Thank you. You're proud of what you're doing, are you? Sending our children away. I couldn't discourage him. Going on to school, give him the opportunity to... What is opportunity? Opportunity is something that can make change a good thing. You will destroy our village. Those young people who leave do not come back. That's not so, George. Please, let's have no bad feeling. Stuck in the mud, I guess. My lord. Oh, here's the initial boss from before he got there. Mark. Marta had written me. Marta? Why didn't you tell me how ill you were? Oh, it's nothing. Yes, it is something. No, really, it's nothing. I I've been meaning to have some more tests, but I've been so busy. Well... Yeah, I don't know anything about his illness. You'll have some time to yourself now, because... Did your they? work here is over. Oh, well, something said before about it, and I just... I've just begun. I can't leave now. But I thought he was leaving. Maybe I misunderstood. Mark, when you were ill a year ago... I recovered, I'll recover again. The doctors told me... Please, my lord, let me finish my work here. You don't have time. You're nearly out of time. The doctors oh, told boy, me a year ago... Be a the man should be Sad ending, I they said fear. That it's a matter of time. Mark, maybe I was wrong not to have told you, but that was my decision. I, I'm just run down. I could have kept you with me in Vancouver. 
Oh, I sure have been feeling run down myself. With no family to myself. consider. Like Just that. this eager young man who had, who was, was running out of time. Diagnosed with pre-diabetic or pre-diabetes. See, I felt Late this village July. was the place where you could come. And I'm going to be having more blood work done life. pretty quick. As I, I don't did. feel real bad. I just feel like I I'm going to sleep in all the time. Mark, about life here, to be ready to die. Anyway, comment but down I below if you know anything about pre-diabetes. You've only had a year. Was I wrong? Yes. You were wrong. A dying man isn't a dying race. You've I don't know if well. he was wrong to do that. Mark. And now, I want you to come with me to Vancouver. I want you to stay with me. Give me till Christmas. Let me have a Christmas here. Is that's when he came in was Christmas time. Hmm. George P's given a grandson his Indian name. It's very important. Do you have an Indian name? Tatis Kwisat. That's pretty. city and he'd come back and he said to me away from here I couldn't sleep I couldn't eat at night I dreamt of the sands of Kutkuis and I knew I had to return for the village is the only place where I know myself my lord I look at these people who know themselves so well who have a place where I have none and it tears me apart for already I'm rehearsing how to say goodbye to them. Brian? Spencer. Can uh, your sacraments compete with theirs? They don't have to, Spencer. They don't have to. He has. Marta? I heard the owl. Yes. It called my name. Yes.
<coughs> oh, she's back. I think. Hello. Come in. Goodness, what what brings you back here? Sit, sit down. We'll have some coffee. Are you all right? I couldn't stay there. In the city. It wasn't my place. What happened? I want you to know that I'm carrying Gordon's child. I hope I am. Is that so that he'll have to come back here? He'll never know about it. But I want something of him to be left alive in the village. I know that in your eyes, what I've done is wrong. And that I'm not welcome in the church. No, Keita. No, I'm not. Oh, no, no. At least not in my church. That's not true. I think it's a mistake when a church turns away sinners, because we all sin. And everybody should be welcome to come. Well, he's made it to Christmas time. I think this is when he arrived a year ago. Christmas Eve, I think. It was Christmas time, anyway. Merry Christmas. I like your Christmas tree. It's real nice. Thank you. It's such a precious gift, the birth of Christ. At this holy time, I'm so thankful to be here with you. I'm thankful, too, for everything that I've received from each of you this year. Uh, last Christmas, I didn't know <coughs> Kut Kuis. I certainly couldn't pronounce any of the words in your language. Now I think I could probably manage one or two. In my first sermon, I remember talking to you about a boat that would carry your children from the village to the white man's world. Well, I was wrong to talk that way. I've learnt this year of the strength of your life here. I know it's not slipping away. I know your children won't let it die. What your children are building is not a boat that will carry them away but a bridge so that they and all people can go back and forth learning from each other mm -hmm. without fear. Yes.
Come in. I know about your sickness. I am chief of this village. Marta is its grandmother. We ask you to stay. Stay with us to the end. This village is your home. It is your place. Thank you. Wow, that's very nice. Bikini. I honestly think he would be better off just staying there. You know, letting them take care of him. Until the end, you know. My dear Miracles can happen. I ask your permission to stay here. I know, I'll miss you. You were like my father, my whole family, for so many years. Now my family is immense. Every rock and tree, every bird and fish, and bit of moss. Here we all seem to have found our small place on Earth. Thank you, my lord, for sending me to Kut Luis. Definitely just stay there and live out the remainder of his life there. You going out? Just a short trip in the boat. Should I come with you? No, I, I'll be all right. I hear you're building a new house. Yes. Who for? For my family. When I marry Kita, her baby will be mine. She's been to the city, Jim, and it didn't work. But she did reach out. You take care of her. Why are you telling me this? Because I care for you both. Are you sure you're OK? Sure. I'm one of the salmon people, remember? <laughs> I'll be fine. The salmon? days are without end, and whose mercies cannot be numbered. Make us, we beseech thee, deeply sensible of the shortness and uncertainty of human life. And let thy Holy Spirit lead us in righteousness and holiness all our days, that when we shall have served thee in our generation, we may be gathered and to our fathers. He's not doing good. I still don't know what his illness is. I guess it doesn't matter. The mission boat. Is that 
about the boat he was on out there. succumbed to his illness, whatever it is, whatever it was. Totally unexpected. I had no idea what to expect when I started watching this an hour and 20 minutes ago. And it was really, really good. I'm glad I got to see this and react to it. Um, a little sad, but just a, just a really good movie. So comment down below uh, your thoughts on this. And um, if you have any suggestions of you know some made for tv movies for me to watch uh, put them down in the comments and uh, i'll um, check into that so anyway that was it that was good i i definitely enjoyed that and highly recommend it so that's going to be it for now until next time please like and subscribe and comment down below and i'll see you next time Thanks for watching.